welcome to the 2017 Chicago Symposium. Uh, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Yeah, my name is William Cordero. I'm an architect from Costa Rica. An architect from Costa Rica. Yeah. Wow, cool. So have you had a good time at the symposium? Oh yeah, of, of course. It's yeah? such a great city for sketchers. Good, wonderful. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what you typically like to teach in a workshop? Well, yeah, my comfort zone, if I have, if I have to call it that, that way, it's good doing this kind of big uh, uh, urban scenes, complex urban scenes, okay. where you can have a, a lot of information. Yep. Then you can start uh, creating your own stories. Right. You have buildings, you have people, you have cars, you have everything. So you can see that I also use a lot of textures. Mm -hmm. It can take me up to one or two hours, and maybe more. So I try to take advantage of uh, the organic patterns and also geometrical patterns. Right. So I start studying the scene that, I'm, that is in front of me. Yes. And then I start just uh, trying to see which are the main shapes, the yeah. basic shapes. So I see that there are like uh, these rectangles, the squares, some circles going around, <clears throat> and they relate to each other. They yes. are just like living together so it's so much easier for me to understand the, the whole scene first. Mm -hmm. So going from the whole picture and then start detailing. But before detailing, what I like to, what I always do is just to uh, try to find where the shadows are. Right. So I have these uh, black spaces. That's the second thing that I do after doing the basic shapes. So I have, for example, in this song, another song over here. I'm here. Yes. And then I start just working with textures. Beautiful. Yeah. And so you're working uh, with a fine liner and are you using a brush pen for the darks? Yeah, it's like a combination. It's like a mix of tools. Yes. I have uh, also color pencils, watercolors, uh, pens, black pen. Sometimes I use uh, this gray uh, watercolor, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I have kind of a limited palette, not, well not so much, this is because it, this is the, in the tropical <laughs> area, so there are a lot of colors, mm -hmm. but let's say for example right here in the city, Chicago, I have this, you can see that there are a lot of patterns, yes. right? geometrical patterns, par uh, patterns, sorry. so the most important thing is that I actually don't do the whole drawing, I right. just leave the space you can see that there are just two windows, yes. but there's actually like, I don't know, like 100 windows. Yes. But your brain, if you are seeing it, can finish the drawing. Yes. So I'm giving you 90% of the sketch yes. of the idea, and you finish it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's excellent. And that was done just with a brush pen, I think, and a yeah. fine yeah. liner. Exactly. That's the only thing that I do. Sometimes I do something a little more, uh, let's say like this. I use more uh, black in the composition, yes. always with the same tools. Uh, at some point, I have to decide, to decide if I use color or not. Mm -hmm. uh, always black and white uh, wins, <laughs> yes. almost always. But sometimes I do something like this. Oh, beautiful. And you see that? Yes. This is the view from my, my hotel. And then when I use color, what I see is just not to use so much color but some, some of the same family of colors, if I have to right, say it that way. Right, more simplified. Exactly. So uh, I actually start using that black uh, shadows and shades, and then try to find those uh, spots with light and everything, but always based on textures. That's, that's my thing, the textures. The textures. Exactly, and the patterns, organic patterns and cool. geometrical patterns, yeah. Excellent, well thank you so much. That's a beautiful sketch and thank you so much for teaching at the Chicago Symposium. Yes, of course, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.